Now we are in the beam editor. We always save a three node structure on the left. Uh, it's defined step by step all design process. I can see a site plan or I can go in the 3D view. Or I can use uh, beam objects to design all kinds of photovoltaic plants. So now let's see them one by one. Let's start from the photovoltaic field. It allows uh, to locate the position of photovoltaic plant. Where to install the, the plant. Then we have the PV generator, so the inverter. Uh, I'm locating with this command the inverter in the position, the correct position on the plant. So command sequence is, uh, is not casual as you see. After we have the general switch panel. This is an electrical panel. I can locate uh, continuous or alternate um, electrical panel with the opposite wizard. Wizard help us to design the, the panel. Inclined surface is another common. It's very useful if we don't want to model the architectural model with the 3D model or the HIFC file. So it gives the opportunity to quickly identify a surface that represents the, the roof. Or I can go to all 3D models on the Beam Hackers library, or maybe SketchUp file, OBJ file. So I can create the 3D model of the plant, and I can create also the model of the garden, for example. With generic model command, I can have solid extrusion. So I can create the model of the building, the, the land, every object I want. Later, I can upload an IFC file, an IFC object done by the architects, for example, and I can use it to properly design the plant. Then I have other useful commands. Area view, I have section, I have elevation view, or the site plan. These comments help me to create the final project board. Then I have the 2D graphs, various useful objects to model, for example, the guide point, the guideline, or I have rectangular magnetic grid to um, quickly and properly locate the elements. Then I have the circular magnetic grid or the twin rectangle magnetic grid, the triangular grid. Or I can upload, uh, for example, our um, DXF file or DWG file. Or I have other commands, for example, the line. I can use the polylines. Or we have the 2D objects, the block. I can upload some image if I want. Or I have the possibility to upload a raster image, properly image or PDF file, so I can scale and use the, the PDF or the raster image to obtain a codec design. Then I have the linear measurements and I have also possibilities to use the marker. So we have lots of comments, so useful comments to create the final project board.